Did you know that you can use Evernote as a web publishing platform? Oh yes, indeed you can. And I will show you how today on Dottotech. Steve Dotto here, how the heck you doing this fine day? At Dottotech, we make technology easy so you can do more. More what? <clears throat> Suppose you could practice some of your arborist skills. We're going to be talking today about Evernote, but not as a productivity tool. Instead, we're going to be talking about using Evernote as a web publishing tool. And the, the cool thing about using Evernote for web publishing is you don't need to have your own website in order to publish. So this is ideal for teachers or business people or marketers, people who might have a small amount of need to share stuff online to publish content on the internet, but don't necessarily want to create their own website and have all of the overhead and the hassle of having your own web domain. Evernote can step in and it's amazing how well it works. That's what we're going to be covering today. Now, if you followed our channel for any length of time, you know I'm a huge fan of Evernote. It is such a flexible tool. I'm not sure that there's another tool that we can install on our devices that's as flexible as Evernote. In its simplest form, it's a simple memo pad or a notebook, but it goes well beyond that because of its powerful integrated search features and the fact it's a cloud-based service allowing us to sync between devices. We can use it for project management. We can use it uh, as, a, as a collaborative tool working with, with others on our team. It's a tremendously flexible tool that really allows us to do, for me, it's at the heart of my productivity system and for many of you as well. But most people don't realize that it can be used as a publishing tool as well. Now before I jump into the demo, I should mention that I've got a really nice tutorial, a free tutorial called the Evernote Quick Start Guide, which will walk you through what you need to do in order to start using Evernote as a productivity tool. So if you've not yet embraced Evernote or you've dabbled with Evernote a little bit but haven't really figured out how it fits in your life, I encourage you to click on the link that's in the description below and take our Evernote Quick Start Guide. Take you about an hour to go through it, but I think it's the fastest and best way to learn to use Evernote. Now let's dive into how Evernote works as a publishing platform because it's very cool. Evernote is a cloud-based service, meaning that when we create any notes, when we create any content in Evernote, it's stored on our local device that we created on, but it's also synced to Evernote's cloud-based service. That allows it to sync to our other devices. One of the beauties of Evernote is it gives you access to your content, to your data, wherever you are and whenever you are. It works on desktop computers, notebook computers, tablets, smartphones, and it has both a desktop app as well as the ability to access all of your data through the web browser. And it's that ability to be able to access your information through the web browser that turns it into a very powerful publishing tool should you choose to use it that way. Because every note you create in Evernote is really a web page. It's a type of a web page. And if we share the URL, if we share the web address for that web page, other people can view the content that we create. Now we have total control over what we want to share and what we want to keep private. So there's no concerns on that point. But because it's built as a tool that can be accessed through the web, it means that it suddenly becomes a publishing tool for us should we choose to use it that way. Let's go into Evernote. Now this is the desktop client of Evernote running on a Mac computer. And this is actually a free account of Evernote I have. Now I do have a premium account that I use for my own personal productivity, but this is a free account. So everything I'm gonna show you today, you can do with the free version of Evernote. Now within Evernote, you can compose fairly elaborate pages. You can format the pages, you can add checklists, you can add graphics. So you can compose a uh, you can compose content that can be used for marketing purposes. You can create checklists. Teachers can compose lessons. You can create all sorts of different content that's going to be incredibly valuable. Once you've created that content, when it's time to publish it, when it's time to share it, this is how we go about sharing it. You click on the share menu up above in the very top, and that opens a dialog box that basically gives you access to all of the different sharing options that Evernote has built into it. And it's not just about publishing content to the web, but Evernote is also a collaborative tool that allows you to invite others to be able to edit the document and make modifications to your document so you can work in a collaborative form. And we see that represented here at the top of this dialog box. But that's not what we want to do. We don't want to create a collaborative document. We want to publish something that people can open in their browser and consume as if it was a normal web page coming from a normal website. And to do that, we click right here. 
The shareable link is turned off right now. That's that internal address that Evernote creates when they sync content to the web. We're gonna turn that on by saying anyone with this link can view. When we do that, it generates this URL that appears right here. Do you see it right here? This is the web address. This is the link that we can now share with others so they can view this page exactly as it looks. Now I'm gonna take this link and I'm gonna put it in the description below so you can see this page in your browser as well. And that's the magic. We're, let's go over to our browser, let's go over to our web browser and let's take a look at how you can see this link and how everybody else can see this page. I'm pasting the link in and this works in any browser regardless if you have Evernote installed or not. And that's part of the magic of this. You don't need to have Evernote installed in order to be able to view this page in your browser. Now, if you do have Evernote installed, you can save this document to Evernote. Now, there are a few limitations. Uh, you can incorporate, you can certainly do quite a bit of formatting within this document. You can uh, add graphics. What you can't do is embed videos directly in the web page, the way you could say in a web page that you're hosting yourself. You can create a link to a YouTube video or to another video that they would click and it would take them to the YouTube play page, but you can't actually embed that playback right within the document. And that's just about the only limitation that I can think of. You can put, uh, you can put web links in it, you can incorporate graphics in it, you can basically use it as if it was your own website that you're publishing. This really extends the capability of Evernote and takes it into an entirely different direction. I, you know, as I've, you know, I've mentioned, I keep going back to teachers and I keep going back to online marketers, creating checklists. If you have thought about sharing content and created a PDF document that people have to download to their computer to view in order to access the content, you can do all of that right within Evernote and you have total control over it because if you make a modification to this page, the next time somebody returns to the page, they'll see the edits that you've created. You can also, let me go back into this document and show you. You can also at any point stop sharing this document with everyone, which means you have total control over when it's being published and when it's not being published. And all of this without the need of maintaining and managing your own website. How cool is that? Now, I've got a little treat for you. I'm gonna go from this demo account and I'm gonna take you into my real account. This is my own personal Evernote account, but this is how I discovered and kind of first embraced the possibility of publishing content this way using Evernote. I created my first big online course on Evernote called Evernote Made Easy, still available. You can still purchase it today. It's, we've had several thousand people go through the course. But when I created the course, I thought it would be great if we could use Evernote, create an Evernote notebook that actually delivers the content to our, to our students. So this was the first time that I did this. I, this, in this, when you take this course, if you decided to take this course, let me just jump into it here. Here it is. We are we're up to the third version of it. This is the Evernote course and each of the lessons that I've created in this course is a shared note. So people that take the note, to people that take this course, they get emailed a link every day for 10 consecutive days. And that link contains a link to this, to, do, to whatever their lesson is. And you can see we've got the full lesson plan there, including screenshots of the videos, links to the videos, all of the different graphics and the supporting content that we need to incorporate. It's got little checklists and check boxes so that people know when they can keep track as they go through the content. And they can take each of these notes and they save it to their own Evernote account. And at the end of the course, they've got a full Evernote notebook, which is basically a tutorial notebook uh, teaching them how to use Evernote more effectively. It was a brilliant concept, I think, but it shows how you can use this capability within Evernote in so many different ways. If you wanna create an online course and you don't wanna to have to go through all of, the, all of the challenges and all of the difficulties of setting up a web server or signing up with an online course software, you can do it yourself by managing it through this exact process. A couple of things before we wrap up. Now, if you found this video to be useful, I'd appreciate a thumbs up or a share, but more importantly, if you found this to be useful, I encourage you to subscribe to our channel. Make sure that you hit the notification bell to be alerted when we upload any new videos. We constantly publish useful productivity videos just like this one today. And lastly, 
if you really like this idea of using Evernote as a publishing tool and you want to formalize it a little bit more and you actually want to create a blog and publish a blog, there is a tool called Postachio, which is at postach.io. It allows you to take your Evernote notebooks and convert them into blogs. So you can actually update and create all of your blog as you write it within Evernote. It's a pretty brilliant service. It does, it is a paid for service, it costs about $5 a month for a kind of a basic account, but it is a concept. If you like the idea of using Evernote, you don't want to maintain a website, but you want to publish a regular blog, this might be the easiest way to blog that I have ever seen. And most useful because of course you're doing it within Evernote, which we all love. That's all the time we have for today's video. If you have any comments or suggestions, we'd love to hear them in the comments below. Now, while I don't have time to reply to each and every comment that is posted, I do read every one and I take what you say to heart. I can promise you that. Till next time, I'm Steve Dotto. Have fun storming a castle.